Apart from a certain election, there are two other big events this week. Interest rate decisions. The first is the Reserve Bank of Australia tomorrow, and if there was a glimmer of hope for a rate cut, it would have been snuffed out by today's job ads data for October, up 0.3%. Now, the number of ads is down 16% from the peak, but it's still above where it was before the pandemic. Fact is, Australia's job market is strong, and the RBA won't be cutting interest rates until it isn't. And that's despite the fact that Australian families are having a recession. Now, this chart shows the volume or amount of retail trade and the value or cost of it. Basically, we're buying less stuff but paying the same. But there will be a rate cut in America on Thursday because the job market there is weak. New jobs in October were only 12,000 versus 100,000 forecast by economists. Foreign exchange traders didn't know whether to bid the Aussie dollar up or sell it down, so they didn't either. And it stayed at 66 US cents. The share market rose half a percent because of gains by the banks. Mineral resources fell nearly 10 per cent after the board said founder and CEO Chris Ellison had not acted with integrity, that his behaviour was profoundly disappointing and required sanction and penalty. So he has to pack his cardboard box and leave in 12 to 18 months time. So no hurry, take your time. Global markets all rose over the weekend and today in the US, Europe and China. And on commodity markets, oil, iron ore and gold fell while base metals went up. And that's finance.